Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EasyAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Easygrid Automation and today we'll be talking about the Selenium 4 features on CDP or otherwise called as Chrome DevTool protocols. So if you remember like a couple of years before, I actually talked about the Selenium 4 netcode project and this is the project that I spoke like two years before and not a lot of things have really changed if you see the 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 release on selenium 4 it looks like selenium 4 is going quite slower in terms of the development and it's selenium 4 beta still in selenium 4 beta not a lot of things has really happened in the c sharp world uh, and actually there are some breaking changes and i have seen students complaining while they use this project they have seen that this is it's not working as expected and the reason is because there are some breaking changes in the libraries and those changes has to be made within our code as well and i have not updated that yet and in this code i'm going to show you how to fix those issues at the same time i'm also going to show you some additional way to use the chrome DevTool protocol in terms of uh, like setting the uh, headers and also uh, probably like setting the user agent something like that some of the neat little tricks that you can do i mean selenium 4 with c sharp and we'll see how selenium 4 leverages the power of cdp so for doing that i'm just going to clone this particular repo once again within my machine after almost like two years now and i'm just gonna open the windows terminal and i'm going to create a directory here and i'm going to call this as selenium for something like that oops it looks like there's another folder like that so selenium for beta how about that uh, and then cd selenium for uh, beta and i'm just going to do a git clone of this particular project all right and now I'm gonna open this project within my Visual Studio. So let me open that. All right, it's just loading up here. And there you go, so this is the project. And as you can see, this is a .NET Core project and we used uh, quite an old .NET Core as well, like 3.0 and it's currently .NET 3.1. And we also have .NET 5 at the moment, uh, which is also cross-platform and things. Uh, but uh, actually, we are using a quite old .NET Core as well over here. And you can see that the Selenium web driver that we used earlier was an alpha uh, release, but there is a beta version at the moment. So we're gonna upgrade that as well. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, and build this particular project. So if you try building this solution right now, it should be all right. You can see that the build got succeeded and it's not a problem. But students, while they started using this project, they were pretty much excited to use with the latest version of Selenium and they started to see some issues. Uh, and I know what is the issue basically. So if you just go to the updates over here, you can see there is a alpha version three to all the uh, way uh to beta uh, 2 which is the latest pre-release version so mm, i'm gonna probably use the beta 2 and i'm gonna update that so once i update this particular version you will start seeing uh a different sort of issues at the moment you can see that it says dev tool session does not contain the definition for network uh, and i dev tool does not contain the definition for create dev tool sessions let's start to see one by one what is those issues so uh, if you go over here it says that the dev tool dot create um, uh, dev tool session method is not there so because this is a breaking change because it's an alpha and now we are upgrading to beta probably in the final version the method name might be even different so all you're going to do is you need to use this get dev tool session method to get the dev tools that's the uh, major change that we're going to be doing over here other than that it's all looking pretty cool and good. And there is also a few more breaking changes happened in the recent times in terms of network using this DevTools session. So instead of the uh, DevTools sessions that we were using uh, something like this, like DevTools sessions straight away, we actually need to use the DevTools uh, session domains right now. So if you go here, there is something called as DevTools session domains. And this dev tool session domains actually needs to be uh, version specific as well. So if you go to the 
domains over here this is like an abstract class but actually there are drivers of that particular version like version 89 version 87 86 like that so chrome dev tool has got different versions and based on the version they are actually creating different dev tool session domains as well so that's um, making a bit confusing so why don't they actually make uh, a same uh, version at the moment but they are not actually doing it so in order to work around with this particular problem we are actually going to do something like this using uh, dev tools uh, session domains something like that and then I'm just gonna say open QA dot selenium dot dev tools something like this and then I need to actually not choose the dev tool session ID uh, session domain directly rather we need to use the version specific uh, dev tool so you can see that version 89 is the chrome version 89 and then we need to choose this particular uh, dev tools session domain so this is what we should be doing it and once i do that you you can see that actually it's giving me an error here saying uh, cannot implicitly convert the dev tool sessions to this particular version of the dev tool sessions so in order to get around this particular problem instead of using the dev tool session domain we actually need to use its interface which is the dev tool session so if we use this dev tool session we will be all right uh, using this one so yeah, I think that that fixes this particular issue because this is going to be uh, using the interface of IDEV tool sessions, which should be all right. So that's the uh, change that we are going to be uh, doing at the moment. And once we have did this particular change, we can then start modifying our existing code that we have written so far. So all we're going to do is uh, we're going to go over here to our domains is equal to uh, session dot get version specific domain and over here we need to pass the dev tool session domain so this is the change that we have to do so this dev tool session domain is something but this one the version number 89 and then with this particular domain we are actually going to uh, find the uh, the operation that we're going to be doing so like domain start network dot enable uh, like that and Another thing is like, we're not gonna use this particular network like that. So we are basically gonna use the v89.network as well. So the networks should be version specific as well. So once we do that, you can see that this is working fine. And this guy is gonna be again, version number 89, something like this, uh, to set the URL. So you can see that now the code is kind of bit changed. So we, we need to be using this version number 89 for all these header files uh, to be added and that's how things will work and in order to shorten this particular code you can easily do that using the using keyword of c sharp so i'm just going to do that as well so i'm just going to say um, using network is equal to this one so if we do that uh, it's going to be like a one change we don't have to keep doing it all the places like this which is kind of crazy we're gonna do that uh yeah that's it that's the only change that we're gonna do so now that your code that you are facing the issues before will be completely resolved and it will work as expected if i'm not wrong um so before two years the exit automation was even different and even the video that you see will have a different experience uh, but now the exit automation is even more different because we launched a platform on the same domain so you will see it's going to be a bit different but there is an issue coming on over here because it says the Chrome driver does not exist, uh, which is all right because we need to invoke the Chrome driver, uh, which we don't really have because uh, last time what I showed two years before, we just used the Chrome driver, but this time we are gonna be using the web driver uh, manager to do that so that it will be uh, better, I guess. So web driver manager, which is this one. I'm just going to install that. And once it's installed, I can go here and I can just so do new driver manager. Oops, driver manager. I'm just going to be from this guy dot 
uh, setup driver of new Chrome config, something like that. And I'm going to add that implementation as well. All right. So once we have everything, I guess it should be working fine. So let's try running this again. And you can see that the browser has launched. And this time we have Xero Automation Platform. And you can see that the page is not loading any of the images or CSS because we have actually intercepted uh, the whole uh, site. So you can see that it's only loading the different image for a file format, which we have not specified on the filter. But other than that, it's just loading. It's just broken our website completely. Uh, it's The reason is being uh, we have blocked these images uh, to be loaded. So maybe the JPEG file is being loaded, not the JPG file and PNG and CSS. So all these are uh, intercepted and being blocked. And that's the reason you can see that the site is not loading at all, which is quite cool. So this is the major change that we have seen uh, this time, like a breaking change in the coding way that you're going to use the cdp in selenium c sharp and the next features that we're going to be discussing in our next video are about breaking the site with additional headers and also how you can uh, set or override the user agent which we'll be discussing in our next video